Hey, g'day guys. How you going? It's Justin Allen here with my Good Advice channel. Here to give you good advice for a better future. Right, what I'm talking about today is for, for new people who are starting off, like, want to uh, see what's the difference between... What I'm talking about is Uber versus t Taxifier. Like, the ups and downs for e each app. I, I would have to say, like, Uber's much better. I'd, I'd, I'd recommend, like... Taxify is more, more of a company of what I use simply say I'm waiting for a long time I'm waiting for a job with Uber I, I can basically turn on the Taxify app and I've got a, a backup plan to help me not wait too long for a job because when you're waiting for a job you're not getting paid so who wants to you know, wait you know, over a half an hour for a ride You just it's not worth it then on top, top of that you've got to drive to pick them up you know, it could be 40 minutes before you know it. So it's sort of having a backup plan. I'd have to say, like, with, with uh, Uber, they take out 27.5% is their cut. It used to be a bit lower than that. They changed it, not August 2017, they changed their, they bumped up their cut 2.5%. Uh, taxifier is 15 uh, percent so it is a lot better through taxifier but you I guarantee like you won't get consistent work through taxifier you, you get more consistent work for uber like 24 hours in a day no matter what where you are you're more likely to get a ride with, with uber with taxifier it's more generally around the city so that's one thing and Another thing, like we, we've um, their, their apps, both apps are like t totally like I'd have to say Taxify is a very basic app and it's overdue to be updated. And it's very basic app. It's done very cheaply. It's not like um, Uber is a million dollar app and they keep updating it all the time. It's getting better and better. It's it's far beyond Taxify. It's much better like once you've been using it for a while and, and another thing would be like with uber when you pick get a job that the, the pickup point is normally pretty accurate and with, with taxifier can be off and it can be hard to find the person and, and another thing i find is with um taxifier you, you get do get the option to four times a, in a day you can set the uh, like the destination like say you're heading to the city and you want jobs towards the city with taxifier i haven't i'm yet to receive one trip i have not never received a trip when it's been the destination being set i've been driving for uber for 20 months now and taxifier for a, just over six months I'm experienced in what, what you can get and with Uber it's much better you get you get two trips a day where you can set the destination and you always get a trip but I find Uber tends to stuff you around you either get no fare or, or you get uh, fares that you, you just don't won't get there on time you got to allow uh, like at least half an hour before where you're trying to get there so you're trying to get there for me, I try to get to the gym at 2.30 and you set it to 2.30 and, you know, you, do, you can get screwed sometimes and then you get there late. So you've got to allow, really, to set it earlier, half an hour before. And you can, uh, their, their app is pretty good overall over how you can set the destination. Like, you can set the time as well. You can't on Taxifier. And... Uh, just wait a sec. And you, we've uh, a taxify. Once they order a job, they've got like if they cancel the job at any time, with, with Uber you'll get paid after five minutes. But if they tax, taxify, if they cancel, you get nothing. 
and then with Uber, once you've been on site for two minutes or start charging them 35 cents, Taxify will charge them nothing. And uh, Uber, after five minutes, you can call them up and like text them. And if they're still not at the front, you can cancel and you'll get, you can charge them the, the $10 fee. And after, you know, Uber takes a cut out, you get like $7.25. Which is, I, I, I try to avoid doing it myself, but you know, at worst case scenario, you've got no choice to do it. It's costing you your time, and they're being punished for for wasting your time. So they're less likely to stuff you around next time. And like with Taxify, I've done many jobs where it's been where you've waited there, and it's been incorrect dress, or they've never come out, or, or I've actually had a job where I've gotten to the, the actual site and the job's just cancelled on me you can get and, and that one thing that really that's one thing I really hate with Taxifier is I've had so many trips when they've cancelled on me pick up a job you're starting to head towards a job and, and then two minutes later you, you've got the job cancelled on you it's happened to me at least a hundred times it's just it's get, getting to the point where you're just sick of working for the company you just Keep getting stuffed around but with Uber. You tend to only get job cancellations when you're on a ride, and then you say so you're currently doing a trip and you're just about to finish it, and then you get another job, and it'll come up on their um, phone that on their app saying that I'm still finishing off a trip. And sometimes they people don't like waiting too long and they need to cancel, and, and your Uber also would like. If you're in a surge, they'll be, they might accept the job and then they might, oh no, they change their mind and then they cancel it. Or if they select the job and then it comes up that they, you're going to be along over 10 minutes to pick them up, then they might cancel it. And with ta Taxify, you can set the the range of, of the driving, but I recommend setting it to 4 to 5 Ks. If you get a job through Taxify, and you're too far away, the job will just cancel on you anyway. So it's a waste of time. If you can't get there straight away, you, you just get cancelled. Many times I think I think that's the way the app's been programmed. So you pick up a job through Taxify. If you're not heading towards that direction straight away after, the, the, I think, the first minute, we'll just cancel it on you and give it to somebody else. I think the way the app's programmed. Because sometimes you got to work out the direction, turn off the Uber app, and then swing around and that's one that's one thing that I really hate too with working with multiple companies imagine it works like for all the companies four companies and then you, you turn it on you get a job and then you've got to turn four apps off and not get done by the cops with a $400 fine using your phone trying to turn off all these apps otherwise many times I haven't been quick enough and then you get in another job and you're on a job it can be a bit, a bit of a headache like that but I, I think Taxify is good for a backup company if you're waiting for a job too long because sometimes it, you can wait a long time with Uber and it is a bit annoying depending on which period of the year it is. It can, like winter can be quiet and, and January can be quiet when everyone's away on holidays. It pays to probably be for a few companies just as a, a backup. And also, with um, Taxify, when you get your pay, they pay you or come up on your screen the full payment what the customer gets charged. And then when you get uh, the your payment, it will send you an email and then they'll deduct whatever you've cut. But with Uber, it automatically shows you what you can, it comes up on your, your screen, the payment that you will receive. Uber Zorro automatically takes their cut out. So that, that's one thing I found that, that's different. And, and, and when I drove for, um, started driving for Taxify, I, I did find it a bit of a headache to join up with him. I had trouble logging in. And I eventually I had to just change my email and try again. And also we with uh, Taxify and Uber's introduced it now. When you get your car inspect inspected by Red Book, they charge you and they take that out 
of your first payment. Uber just used to do it for free of charge, but now they're introducing Uber's starting to charge you now, and I think it's about $65 that gets taken out when you meet your next payment. And, and another thing I found with um, Uber versus Taxifier is uh, Taxifier, like when you're joining up, you can have issues with joining up and it's a bit of a headache sometimes and you don't really have, they don't have an office like Uber. That's one thing I found, like I was like, oh, I wish I could just go down to the head office and sort out joining up with them. But one thing good about Uber is that they do have a head office in 578 Thomas Street in Port Melbourne, which you can wait. It's normally you have to wait a bit of a time for it in the queue, and, but the, you eventually get sorted out all your issues with joining up or whatever. And you can, like, I, like if you're going to get your car inspected with Uber, it does take a long time there. So I'd allow it at least it takes an hour to get your car checked out. But we, we've um. Taxifier, I, I had I got my car inspected near the airport, and I, I was there and I got looked at straight away. So I recommend going there for a Taxifier near, near Tullamarine, and afterwards you can always go to the airport and do a ride there. And I think, but also with uh, Taxifier, once you get on site, you've got to. Click, swipe the screen and, and it will come up it will send a message to the customer that you're on site with Uber that it gets all done automatically it's one thing I noticed too so you got you got to always remember that because when you drive for Uber for a long period of time you forget to do that and then you go oh yeah remind yourself to, to swipe it and tell the customer you're there And another thing I find with, with Taxifier, at, at night the screen's a bit bright to be watching the screen. It, it's very bright, like Uber, they've updated the app where it goes, it's got night and day. It's the same with Waze, it's got night and day. It can be a bit annoying to have that screen blaring in your face. But, but one other thing good with uh, Taxifier is uh, you can see where the other drivers are. But it goes away, it comes and goes. If you look at the screen, you can. See, that's one thing that's good. Uber doesn't do that. You can't see where your other drivers are, but you know if you go to a hot spot, you're more likely to get a ride. You can see, like, with Taxify where the other drivers are, but I don't think that always helps you. That that company's not really that busy where it's going to really help you. It's just bonus feature when you can see where the other drivers are to spread out a bit more. And and also I, I find like with Uber there tends to be a lot of surging going on but I find that the Taxifier doesn't have much surging. It generally only has a really has surging on a Saturday night just around the city and that's about it. So you won't really get any surges with that company. Uh, I think Taxify is not as good as Uber, but maybe down the track it might come along because they, they, I have seen that Taxify does offer promotions to the customers to, to encourage them to go for them. So you can get a bit of work through that and some people might prefer to use Taxify because they've had a bad experience with Uber. But basically it's the same sort of company but I, I, for, from a driver's point of view I would say stick with Uber and if you want to join Taxify as a second option if you're waiting for a job go for it so I'd wrap it up as that have a good day guys